let's talk about intrusion de detection system so what is intrusion de detection system earlier also we have talked about this so an intrusion detection system is a monitoring system that detects suspicious activity or deviation from normal behavior and generates alerts when they are detected based upon these alerts a security operation center or analyst or incident responder can investigate the issue and take appropriate action to remediate the threat so this is the definition let's understand what are the type of ideas so one could be host based ideas and another could be network based ideas so host based ideas is deployed on particular endpoint and designed to protect it against internal and external threats such an ideas may have the ability to monitor network traffic to and from the machine observe running processes and inspect the system log so host based ideas is a ideas which sits on an endpoint so let us suppose if a computer is there on that you can install implement this host based ideas it will check all the files it will check all the processes whatever is running what type of activity these processes are doing if there are some commun communication going on that you know, host if there is a communication happening between the application and system software application and the network those all type of communication will be tracked and uh, from the machine only and will inspect system logs and in case of any deviation from the baseline behavior it will initiate an alert another type is the network based ideas so a network based idea solution is designed to monitor an entire protected network so it has visibility into all traffic flowing through the network and makes determination based on the packet metadata and content so it will capture all the network traffic like you have seen here earlier we discussed this network uh, architecture so all these dots are the ids sensor so this will pick up all the communications whatever happening between let us suppose if we take this one so email server to it is going to uh, external communication infrastructure so whatever communication will happen through this complete network uh, capture will go to this ideas and then it will analyze what type of traffic is flowing what is the data inside that traffic how this uh, um, communication uh, can be a one liability or can be a exploit to our system so that will be uh found based on the signatures or based on the uh created rules so uh there are some detection methods of ideas also like i said that it can detect based on the signature also so there are basically three modes of detection one is signature detection another is anomaly detection and third is hybrid detection so signature based idea solutions uses fingerprints of the known threats to identify them so if there is already a some known malware so it will keep a signature of that malware and once malware or other malicious content has been identified a signature is generated and added to the list used by the idea solutions to test incoming content so this enables an ideas to achieve a high threat detection rate with no false positives because this is just a direct comparison like antivirus does so similar for for malware also because all the alerts are generated based on the detection of known malicious content so already it is known it's not a zero day attack so it can find those signatures quickly however a signature based ideas is limited to detecting known threats is blind to zero day vulnerabilities so what is zero day vulnerability zero day vulnerability is that some malware or ransomware or virus on the internet or threat on the internet which has not been exploited or which has not been in the network prior to this so that is a zero day so it means like is the zeroth day of that malware on the internet or or for that system so there is no any known signature available for that malware so that is called a zero day attack and those are very costly and can be created with very high, huge resource and huge compute capabilities and also technical skills so that is called signature detection now coming to the anomaly based detection anomaly based idea solutions build a model of normal behavior of the protected system so it builds a model of the normal behavior of the protected system all future behavior is compared to this model and any anomaly are labeled as potential threats and generate alerts so it is based on like machine learning and ai algorithm so it will create a model and it will baseline your system as per the current normal operating system and then if any deviation happen in the behavior of some traffic or or some file or some process it will 
it will find the potential threads and generate can generate alert while this approach can detect novel or zero day threads the difficulty of building an accurate model of normal behavior means that the system must balance false positive false positive is incorrect alert and false negative misdetections so uh, this system is now maturing and say enough mature now so most of the ids solutions if you find they have uh, a very good uh, detection capabilities and very less false negatives also so these are the two types of signature and anomaly detection now there is one third type and this is quite uh, good it is hybrid ids uses both signature based as well as anomaly based detection so it will work on this signature based also and then anomaly based also so this enables it to detect more potential attacks with lower error rate and using either system in isolation also so um, hybrid detection is recommended more to implement in any environment if your environment is really large you should go for the hybrid detection tools so that that will give you a, like both it will be in learning mode also and then it will be in uh, detection mode due to the signature based detection capability as well now moving ahead let's see uh, it's a basic thing that what is ids and wh what is the difference between ids and ips so how can we install a ids so let's see this is a malicious hacker or user and this is the internet untrusted network and then we have a firewall as a boundary protection device then we have a switch then what we will do we'll configure a mirror port on this switch and then mirror or a span port and then we'll feed that mirror data to the ids so ids will analyze all those traffic whatever is passing through this switch then management uh, is also connected to this and there is a corporate network so this is the point where we can check all the traffic coming from untrusted network to our network but it all the traffic one copy will go to this ids so here ids you can see it is getting only the span traffic so even if a threat is detected it will only create a alert it, it has nothing to do it cannot prevent that to happen so it is ids is a detection tool basically now coming to the IPS, uh, it's the same network, similar network. We are putting IPS in series. So after firewall, there is a IPS solution. Some firewalls like next generation firewall, they have IPS inbuilt with that. But you have option to keep that IPS in a monitoring mode or in a protection mode. So if you keep that IPS in a monitoring mode, it will become IDS. If you keep uh, that IPS in a protection mode it will it will become protection so what will happen here so if something comes out here some uh, threat or malware identifies it will block that traffic to go downwards so it will prevent that threat to further propagate into this network so IPS is quite good for the systems where there is no any down time in case of blockage of the traffic so let us suppose if this is your uh, industrial network and you have implemented a ips in case of the false negatives this this communication will break and there might be performance issues in your industrial network because that was a false negative like that was not actual alarm that was just uh, like uh, the system is not matured enough to detect whether it was a false negative or false positive so in those cases, it is recommended to install a IPS in a monitoring mode, in a detection mode. And once your system gets matured, it has good learning, then you can switch it back to the protection mode. So that is one basic implementation of IPS. Now hope you have understood difference between IPS and IDS. Similarly, uh, you can create it on a, you can put it on a big network also, like we saw here. Now we have multiple IDS sensors and all these IDS sensors will be connected to a central console where you can see all the alerts from everywhere. It is not like distributed. So IDS consists of basically sensors. It will have sensors. It will have a, mm, a central uh, com computing module. It will have a threat engine. It will have uh, a display also where you can see all those uh, centralized uh, threat centralized uh, detections then you yes there is an option to integrate it to your seam solutions also so that you can correlate all those events whatever being generated by the ids and then compare it with the other logs whatever we are collecting from the endpoints and other places and so can so that we can monitor everything in, in a whole so this is all about the ids let's move to the next topic thank you